Hey everybody, Riley Kitts here, coming to you live from my living room. And I'm here with my best friend, Whiskey, and my other best friend, Alyssa, my wife, who's seven months pregnant. And then last but not least, we have Gunnison over there. We're all hunkered down inside. I know a lot of you are as well. Um, get a quick, quick update on the legislature and some of the work that we're working on over at the campaign. A uh, little under a week ago, last Saturday, uh, the legislature came into work on a Saturday, which is pretty rare in and of itself, and they decided to go into an extended recess, which is unprecedented. Uh, so right now, the legislature is closed until at least March 30th. They had to ask the Supreme Court a few legal questions, though, if they can pause. You see, our state constitution says that the legislature has to be in session for 120 days. Now, um, it doesn't say it has to be consecutive, but it always has been. So the legislature has asked the Supreme Court to weigh in on this and say, can the legislature take a pause and restart the 120-day clock? And if they can, that means that the legislature could come back in April or May and continue to work through that 120 days. But if the Supreme Court says no, that has some pretty big implications. We're running out of time here. And the state has to pass things like a state budget, the School Finance Act, um, constitutionally. They are required to do those things. And so we are waiting for a response. The next court deadline is Tuesday for the Supreme Court to give some sort of answer back. And if the legislature can be extended, then we anticipate we'll be working in uh, late May, you know, early June to help pass bills. But what the focus of that is will remain to be seen, right? Will we come back and just do business as normal? Probably not. Or are we going to be focus more on COVID and some recovery responses. Um, so we'll be sure to keep you all updated. The Joint Budget Committee is not meeting again until at least the 30th itself. So everything is really on pause right now. It really is. Otherwise, you know, our physical offices are closed. So that's why a lot of us are all working from home. Um, but the children's campaign staff is working hard. We really are. We are working hard uh, to make sure that there is childcare out there for our frontline staff, our medical staff, who are really at the front lines of this crisis. We're working to ensure equitable access to online learning and distance learning for all these schools and these students that now have to be at home. We're trying to figure out how we get meals to the kids that, that really rely on schools as a way to be their nutrition and also who rely on schools to be their health centers. We're trying to figure that out. We're working with our partners over at Medicaid and other health partners to figure out how we can get certain waivers from the federal government to allow us to do more telemedicine, to allow us to do a special enrollment period. A lot of those things are starting to come through. And we're working hard to figure out how we can get cash assistance into the hands of families that need it now. We were working on a bill to implement a COLA, a cost of living adjustment, but we're now recognizing that families need cash, they need spending power now to be able to make it through this crisis. So we're hard at work at that as well. But we want you all to know that we're a resource for you. You can find us anywhere. You can find us on Facebook still, Instagram, Twitter. Go to our website. Look for our updates. We are working hard. We're going to have a great Kids Flash story today with a ton of resources. But know that we're here to help you. And I want to just end this by saying thank you to all those workers who are out there, whether they are child care workers who are still open and providing care for our frontline staff. I want to say thank you to our grocery workers, our custodians, um, all those who are still open to try to give us essential services, our garbage um, men. You know, I think that w there's so many things that we take for granted. Um, and I just want to be so thankful and express the children's campaign thanks for all these workers. I really am hopeful that we'll come out of this um, with some great positives to look forward to. I really am. So if you guys need anything, please let us know. Contact us. Otherwise, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive. Have a great day.